Hello. And hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? So today I'm going to react to a small German town called Bamberg. How did I choose Bamberg? Well, I searched Google, small German towns, and I wasn't about to do this one. This name was too intimidating. So I chose Bamberg. Now, to be honest, that doesn't look that small. In fact, let's see, um, let's see the population here. 77, that's pretty small. It sure looks really nice for being very small. Shout out to anyone, any Bambergians out there. And of course, I found this video by Walter because he's just been everywhere. Walter's world, go check him out. You already know him. He's a legend. Top 10 sites to see in Bamberg. Let's go. Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. We're in Bamberg, Germany, my favorite town in Germany to go to. Oh, I'm not a traveler. I just sit on my computer in, in my room. I'm, on, I'm like the opposite of a traveler, but hello. Because it's not full of tourists. It's just German tourists are here and you don't get run over, but it's a fantastic place. But when you come here, what should you do and see when you're here? Well, what you should know is this is actually a big university town. So you do have a very young population. Mm. So there is a lot of bars and stuff to go out to and restaurants. So that's cool. Also, a lot of German tourists come here. Look at the young, flourishing Germans eating their food. I love the wooden benches. I always have to kind of point that out. Somehow, it just <laughs> the infrastructure just looks more authentic, even when it comes down to the benches. But also, look at this waitress. Wow. This feels very Bavarian. Here, not international tourists come here. So you have a lot of good German restaurants and I got a traditional kitchens here in Bomber. So it is kind of cool. But anyway, let's get to stuff you should see. Now, the first thing I recommend to check out is, you know, you see these buildings everywhere with this pattern. It looks like wood is embedded in the walls somehow. I wonder what the deal is with that. It's a very German thing. It's very cool looking. I've never seen something like that in real life. But I, I just wonder what the deal is as far as the infrastructure of that. Of course, an open window, because it's Germany. They're lufting. <laughs> is that the right word? The old town hall behind me. Seriously, the cutest town hall in Germany. It was the old town hall. Mm -hmm. It is just phenomenal. It's here on the canal, the water river running underneath. You know what else is very German? Tiny windows. Tiny windows. You can hear the water in the background. It's just gorgeous, okay? You can actually go in, there's a small museum inside, but it's more to kind of enjoy, sit on the bridges and kind of just take it all in, and it's fantastic. And as you go down the river, they call it their Little Venice. I just call it the mm. canal going down with beautiful, beautiful homes alongside, so you can see the half-timbered houses. That's what you call it? The river going down with beautiful homes by the side? That's a mouthful. All this kind of traditional thing we think of, we think of, oh, Germany, you see it on this canal and it is just beautiful. So that's the second thing, is the Klein of Natick or the river canal front, okay? And you can actually take boat tours on there if you got enough people and you can get it, see from here to the harbor, really kind of cool. The third thing you should do when you come here is have the Rauch beer, the smoked beer. Oh God. Oh God, this looks like the final boss of German beers, smoked beer there's no way i could make it through that there's no way it is from just to be honest i'm here in baumberg and the smoked beer for me has could it, could it be any more opposite than a bud light it's kind of like a slightly bacon flavor so imagine bacon and beer mixed together in a good way and that's one thing you should definitely have when you are here it is a must it is an acquired taste i know for me the first I one i had it. the first half i'm like oh my god this is horrible and then i finished it oh that's not bad by the second one, my favorite beer in the world. Okay, so <laughs> definitely have the Ralph beer when you're here. One of the things to do, there's some places in the old town you can go to and have- I wonder if I can get my hands on one of those here in Indiana. White sausages. Unlikely. First, and with sweet mustard. Oh yeah. And your Ralph beer for breakfast because they only sell that special kind of- What is that substance? only sell that special kind of vice for us until noon okay so it's kind of a cool thing to do so third thing to do drink the smoked beer see if you like it or not or i like to call it bacon beer but it's rock beer and have it with your white sausage and enjoy okay next up we have michael's bag and up on top of the hill you'll see michael's st michael's there's a cloister there and inside there you have 
the Franken Brauerei Museum, or the Frankish, this is the Franken area of, of Bavaria. It's the Franken Brewery Museum. So you can see all the old ways they brewed beer and the history of beer and like literally more bottle caps wow. and, and glasses and, and, and coasters than you've ever seen before. And it's really kind of a cool place to go. So up in Michaelsburg, you can go to the Franken Beer Museum, but also you can go in the, the, the church. Yeah, I would have thought that was the university. Church up there too. It is just gorgeous to go in. And if you go around the back, you have great views of the city. We actually filmed some videos there because it is so nice. You can look over the city. And from up there, you can see the next place to check out, the Bombega Dome or the Bomberg Cathedral. You go in there, oh you're going to see right when you walk on the left side, there's the Bombega Reiter or the Bam Bomberg Knight. They don't know all the history of it, but they do know that that's one of their symbols. You go into the cathedral. That is stunning. See that? It's a nice place to visit. I wonder when that was built. Across the street from that, you have the residence, the Prince Bishop's, Kind of the some of the electors they were actually actually i'm gonna look it up you know i can't just say i wonder something and then not look it up <laughs> i can't focus if i do that i just keep thinking when was it built when was it built Con consecrated it was founded in 1004. <laughs> Nothing here in America. You're not going to find anything from 1004. Well, maybe like some Indian burial ground type stuff, actually. Here in Bomberg, and that's where they're kind of a, the head of Bomberg was, basically. Anyway, in there, they've got the state. I guess you sh I should call it Native American burial ground. I, I think Indian... I don't think people use that term anymore. I think that's um, canceled. And so I denounce myself, and obviously the proper term is Amer Native American. Eight rooms you can go see, so you can see what it was like in the 17 and 1800s with all the furniture and stuff like that. I've been a couple times, it was worth it. I, I won't lie to you. Now, when you're at the new residence, you should definitely go to the Rose Garden out here in the back. It's really easy to go, you don't have to pay to come in. It's beautiful, and you've got this amazing wow. view of Michaelsburg and a great view of the city over you know i feel like german gardening is under underappreciated by me i think i need to look into that i feel like you guys are excellent gardeners there so make sure you do check it out when you come here because the rose garden even if the rose there's something about it that i just know you guys are good at it you know you guys like being intricately creative very neat organized creative you know like a cuckoo clock i don't know how that's similar to a garden but in some ways it is quite in there yet there's still some birdies trying to have a good time but it is still is so worth coming to it's just beautiful 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 another thing you should do when you're here is walk around bomber okay you want to wander the old town mm. it was kind of interesting if you're you have to walk Okay, all right. I'm gonna have to buy some new shoes. I've never walked before coming as an American. From the train station, it's ugly as, it's ugly as hell. <laughs> okay, coming from the train station, but as you get closer to the old town, you'll see the buildings are getting older and Whoa. older and older. And it's like, once you pass the river, it's like, oh, okay, now we're getting to like the 1800s maybe. And then you cross the canal and you're into this this beautiful stuff here and you have all this beautiful architecture that you can take in literally you're just walking around picture 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 and what's cool is bomberg wasn't destroyed in the war so this is all original this isn't rebuilt this is the real mm. deal and that's one of the things i love about bomberg is the whole atmosphere and real germanness of it all and that's why when you come here you see tons of german tourists old german tourists coming here and young oh, german wow. tourists to see these kind of buildings and just wandering the old town is just awesome that is actually kind of fascinating. German tourists go to see the buildings. Wow. It's kind of sad in, a, in some ways. Like, so much of Germany was destroyed that now this authentic old stuff is... Um, the German tourists are like, oh, we got to go check that out. Awesome. Now, there's also some museums around town you can check out. Um, <clears throat> I know I've gone to the Crypto Museum or like the... The Crypto Museum? Activity museum. It's a very small museum. You get, what do you get? You see Bitcoin on display, Ethereum, Dogecoin. 
you have that there. There's a city museum that's here. There's all kinds of little museums you can go to, but most of the people come here to enjoy sitting outside, having their Ralphia, enjoying the great weather, because Bavaria does have good weather, and just kind of taking it all in. Mm, we, that's a good tip. Okay, Bavaria, good weather. That's important if you're traveling. One thing is, if you like shopping, you want to see antiques, like real antiques, like, oh. Good weather and good food. That's, uh, that's a major, those are major factors. This was, you know, Louis XIV kind of stuff. Bomberg has a nice group of antique dealers in the old town. So when you go through, you can see some really cool stuff that, man, I wish I could afford that in my house, which you can't, of course. <laughs> well, maybe you can't, I sure the heck can't. <laughs> but you go around, it is really cool for that. And if you're a student, this place is fantastic because the university, there's bars and clubs here. So during the day, yes, there's tourists from all over, but they kind of dissipate at night. And then boom, it comes alive with students going out on the weekend and oh, it's really cool. cool. Now, if you want to learn more about Bomberg, we actually have five things you're going to love and hate about Bomberg hate. on our website at waltersworld.com. Also here on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash waltersworld. If you want more videos like this, like 10 things that'll shock you about Germany, we filmed that here looking out down the- I'm sorry, what's the relevance of this video? I'm honestly just curious. Is that his son opening a gift? <laughs> it's like, that's pretty random. What you're going to love and hate about, you know, Bavaria, why don't you subs click that subscribe button down there and you can get- that was a really great video. Looks like a beautiful town. You know, I come from a small town. Well, I don't come from here, but I live in a small town here in Indiana. And I'm just gonna be honest, it's not, it doesn't look like this, okay? <laughs> I mean that, uh, it's a lot uglier. So, for what it's worth, that's pretty cool. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a phenomenal day. And I hope I see you again tomorrow.